Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here to binder number 13 of the 8x10 collection. We're almost done. I might just try to bang it out now as the um, last three are smaller binders. As you see, these ones aren't as thick as the other ones. So hopefully it'll take like maybe half the time. This last few, we know, taking a half hour or longer. So let's see how long this one takes. All right. So we open up here with Tommy Young, a, rich, um, and a, a legendary referee from the NWA. And uh, as you see right here, it says Tommy Young, signed right up there. So a cool photo there of Tommy Young, WA referee. Next, we have Tony Storm. She's a current product wrestler, I believe, in AEW. So it says up here, Tony Storm. And there she is with a woman's title wrapped around her neck, Tony Storm. And that one is a JSA certain. You know what that means? It's real. All right. Next, we have a combo. This one came from the Wrestling Universe. I think they sold out of it since, so tough to get now. This is Tony Atlas and Rocky Johnson dual sign. So we have Tony Atlas here, Rocky Johnson over there. A nice dual sign photo of them when they were the WWF Tag Team Champions back in 1984. Tony Atlas and Rocky Johnson. All right, another one that's dual signed. This is Tony Atlas. He wrote Tony Atlas, Mr. USA, and Tommy Wildfire Rich. So Tommy Wildfire Rich and Tony Atlas together. Cool dual signed photo of them. There's a close-up of that. Next, we have Tony Chimmel. I got him pretty recently from a, a virtual signing. I forgot who had him as a guest, but I remember buying this. Maybe it was Nick Christie. I don't remember. It says 1998 WWF promo picture, though. He signed for me. He wrote... WWF legendary announcer, 1989 to 2020, Tony Chimmel. And he's like, the following contest is scheduled for one fall, John Cena. Or he also said his early days, John Stud. So there's Tony Chimmel. Nice, cool personalization. I think he uh, is a Jersey guy like myself, maybe. Tony Chimmel. Legendary WWF ring announcer. All right, <clears throat> next we have a dual sign one. <clears throat> it's Tony DeVito, who was like enhancement talent for the WWF for many years. And this guy named Kingspin or something. Oh, it's his name. Uh, Angel. Angel Kingspin. I don't know who that is. But um, the nice dual sign photo. I remember Tony DeVito more. So Tony DeVito, ECW, and Kingspin or Angel. There they are in the ECW arena, probably during the dying days between like 2000, 2001. All right, next is Tony Gurria. He was like um, a low-card WWF guy for many years. Uh, also from New Zealand, like the Bushwhackers. And also one of Vince's personal road agents to break up the fights. So Tony Gurria, I think he last wrestled in the WWF like around 87. But was still an official for many, many years, though, breaking up the fights. Tony Gurria. This is an enhancement uh, jobber guy named Tony Roy. So he wrote... To Todd, best wishes, best wishes, and good luck, Tony Roy. So he's with the title belt for WWF jobber Tony Roy, and he had hair when I knew him. So this must be a later photo now that he's bald. All right, next is Tony Shavani. This is the greatest night in the history of our sport. <laughs> so he wrote Tony Shavani, WCW on top, and this is a 1996 um, WCW promo type picture, Tony Shavani. This is a more uh, recent one of Tony Schiavone um, from something called StarCast number two in Las Vegas. He signed it right here by his jacket, Tony Schiavone. And he wears glasses these days, and I know he's um, he still does commentary. He came back after all those years gone from wrestling. Does it with JR now in AEW, Tony Schiavone. This is signed by Too Cool. So he wrote here, Grandmaster Sexy, Brian Christopher. And Scotty Too Hotty, Scott Taylor, okay? So Grandmaster Sexy and Scotty Too Hotty, dual signed, too cool photo. Look very cool there. Christopher, of course, been dead for a little while now. This is um, Xbox Girl and Kane's original girl, Tori. So she wrote Tori, WWF 2001. It's on a 2000 WWF promo picture. So cool one of Tori um, swimming and showing her... Uh, Rest on that picture. So, Tori. 
Another one of Tori. This is when she was X Pac's girl. Sign it down here in the bottom, Tori. And there she is with X Pac as they do their pose. Tim White, the referee in the background. Only signed, though, by the lovely Tori. And there's a signature close up. Uh, next, we have Tori Wilson. This is from her WCW days. So she wrote, Love Tori Wilson. And there she is beating up um, Asia. And Billy Kidman's in the background. So Tori Wilson, she was barefoot back then too. Interesting. So Tori Wilson. Here's another one of Tori Wilson in jeans. It says Tori Wilson, Hall of Fame 2019. And by the way, I think I do have a Tori Wilson. It's currently for sale, unless I sold it recently. So if anyone's looking for Tori Wilson, let me know. Tori Wilson, Hall of Fame 2019. Here's another one of Tori Wilson in a bikini. In a light blue bikini. So it says Tori Wilson, um, WWE Hall of Fame 2019. So nice cool inscription there of the lovely Tori Wilson. She looks like a Barbie pretty much, right? Tori Wilson. This is a dual sign one of Tori Wilson and Missy Hyatt. They're having beers and stuff, it looks like. Or maybe she's drinking a Pepsi. I can't tell. So there's Tori Wilson over here. There's Missy Hyatt over there, and they're standing in front of a locker. Dual signed photo of Tori Wilson and Missy Hyatt. All right, next we have, um, we talked about him earlier. We talked about Eric Watts. He was known as Troy from Techno Team 2000. The partner, Travis, um, he's very hard to find. I don't know how to get his autograph. I don't have him. I don't know if anyone knows him, but um, I do have... Uh, the guy who's Bill Watts' son, though, Eric Watts, he wrote Troy, Techno Team 2000. So pretty cool signature there of Troy. Next, we have the Total Divas. I'm not even sure who signed this because of their handwriting is really hard to read. This one looks like it says FKA or something. I don't know. Anyone know who it's formerly known? Love, formerly known as? I have no idea. This is Summer Ray over here, though. I could tell that one. And I think Natalia Neidhart or Eve or someone over that over there. I can't, these really these are really scribbled. These ones. Someone here on the bottom. Another one there. I don't. I again. I don't know who signed me. One of the Bellas. This is. It's tough to read. This is a Total Divas 2014 photo file though. It's signed by five people, and I can't really tell who is who. You can look again closely at the graphs. One there. There's Summer Ray. That's the obvious one. I don't even know who these black girls are over here. One of them probably signed it though. Maybe a Bella or Natalia. So we got a, we got a couple of signatures though on this Total Divas photo file. All right. Um, we talked about the guy before. We talked about um, those guys called Disorderly Conduct. We had Mean Mike. This is the partner Tough Tom, who's also known as Tom Bennett. We saw him a few minutes ago in the other video. So he wrote to Todd, good luck and best wishes, Tough Tom. So this is Tough Tom, Tom Bennett from um, Disorderly Conduct. Late 90s WCW tag team. These are the Toxic Turtles signed by both Dwayne Gill and Barry Hardy. I forget which one was which, but here it says Terry, who was the guy dressed up as Raphael, and Tommy. I think maybe Dwayne Gill was Tommy and Terry might have been um, Barry Hardy. I'm not positive. But it is dual signed, though. I believe I mailed it to one of them. The other one gave it to the partner, and they both signed it and sent it back to me. So the Toxic Turtles, Terry and Tommy. And this says Toxic Turtle Tommy. So, again, I think this one was Dwayne Gill. So Toxic Turtle Tommy. There he is in the ring. For their one tryout match, which is actually on the WWE unreleased DVD, 86 to 95. All right, they were teamed up in 93, by the way. Okay, this is Tracy Smothers. He's since passed away. ESS always brags. He was the last one to bring him in. We saw him earlier as Freddie Joe Floyd. There he is, though, as Tracy Smothers. He's got the Smoky Mountain Championship belt with him. Next, we have like a cartoon one of Trevor Murdoch. He signed it over here as Trevor Murdoch. So pretty cool cartoon one. I know he wrestles for that. Um, what federation is that? It's the one that goes online and stuff like that. But regardless, it's Trevor Murdoch. Next, we have a WWE photo file from 2005 of Trish Stratus in a blue bikini swimming. There it says Trish Stratus. You saw a couple other graphs of her earlier. Nice one there, though, of Trish Stratus, though, from 2005. 
Here's another one of Trish Stratus. She's in a green dress, signed by her hair right here in blue. Trish Stratus, looking lovely as always. Still looks good today. Trish. Here's another one of Trish Stratus on a 2006 WWE photo file. So I guess this is just before she left the Federation for the first time. Signed Trish Stratus Love here. Holding her hands by her jeans and got a belt buckle on. Trish Stratus. Here's a nice JSA certed one. Dual signed of Trish Stratus and Lita. And you know what that means. It's real. And then here's the um, picture though. So Trish Stratus Love up here. Lita over there. We've seen a bunch of signatures of Trish and Lita in my collection. But there's the one dual sign one of Trish and Lita. All right. Next, we have the Truth Commission. It's signed by three members on a magazine page. So really cool. Here we have the Interrogator, which is the big man Kurgan. We have Recon, who played Bull Buchanan. And then we have Sniper, who was the third member. So the Truth Commission, tr triple sign, Interrogator. Sniper and Recon. Nice photo there. There's the back of the article with Truth Commission. Next we have doo, doo, the legendary Tugboat. He signed it Tugboat, WWF, arms crossed. Big Fred Ottman, classic gimmick as Tugboat. Here we have Tully Blanchard, a solo one of him. We saw some Brain Buster ones earlier. He signed it as Tully Blanchard with his um, biblical inscription. So Tully Blanchard. Next we have, um, so I put it under Typhoon, but it's like all three gimmicks though of um, uh, Fred Ottman. So it says the three faces of Ottman. So we got Tugboat here, Typhoon there, and the Shockmaster here. So all three gimmicks, pretty cool one there of um, Fred Ottman, a cartoon character sure thing of his three gimmicks, Tugboat, Typhoon, and the Shockmaster. Uh, we saw the natural disasters earlier. Here's just a solo one, though, only signed by Typhoon. He wrote Typhoon WWF. So nice one there of Typhoon. He's on a 1992, uh, probably a copy of a promo picture. Next is dual signed by Tyson Tomko and Kevin Nash. So right here it says Tyson Tomko up here, uh, 2006, I believe. And then Kevin Nash over there at the big boot. So a nice dual sign, Tomko, Kevin Nash. Nash giving the big boot to Tomko, signed by both men. Next we have the Ultimate Warrior. And this was actually very cheap back in the day. This was like on eBay. The guy had a bunch. He did some signing, gave it to people for reasonable prices. So this is signed by the Ultimate Warrior. It looks like probably like a 1992 pose of the Ultimate Warrior. And I met him in person. Um at WrestleMania convention in 2013. Here's another one of the Ultimate Warrior. This is when he was the um, Intercontinental Champion in 88 and 89. Series so with the belt, purple trunks, and uh, in front of a live WWF event. Signed as the Ultimate Warrior. So nice signature there of the Warrior. Here's another one of the Ultimate Warrior from a 1990 Coliseum video ad. I see met people. It said, I met Ultimate Warrior WWF Champion at the 1990 at VSDA convention in Las Vegas. Thursday is Coliseum Video Day. So he is with the World Wrestling Federation Championship, black and white photo, signed as Ultimate Warrior um, at a Coliseum Video signing. So that's awesome. We saw a Bushwhacker one like this earlier, but here's one of the Warrior. All right, here's another cool one of the Warrior. This is like a WWF magazine page from a program of Survivor Series 92. And he signed it right here as Ultimate Warrior. Um, at the time I got this thing, I probably could have added it on Razor still in Flair, but, you know, never did anything, though. So it's the whole Survivor Series 92, the original lineup, everything being plugged there. So it's got Warrior signature right over there. Should have been the Ultimate Maniacs versus Razor and Flair signed by the Warrior up here in silver. Here's another nice piece here. Not many people have this. Dual signed, Royal Rumble 89, promoting the Super Pose Down. So we have Ultimate Warrior over here and Ravishing Rick Rude over there. So nice dual sign photo of Warrior and Rude um, for the 1989 Royal Rumble Super Pose Down. It even has the date here of the Rumble on top. Pretty cool stuff there. Warrior, Ravishing Rick Rude, dual sign photo 
um, for the Royal Rumble 89. All right, next we have the Ultimo Dragon. There he is over there, Ultimo Dragon. Not many graphs of him out there I see these days being advertised. Science in Japanese, pretty cool one of the Ultimo Dragon. Next we have the Samoan Bulldozer Umaga. I think his graph goes for a lot now. Like I used to have some other ones. I sold it for like 35 bucks. I probably got a lot more. So this is a 2006 promo picture. Sign right here in the middle as Umaga. That's a cool picture there of Umaga. He's been deceased for a while now. Here's our first one of many of The Undertaker. This is the purple glove, so it's between 94 and 96. Signed over here as Undertaker. So a cool photo there of The Undertaker, the dead man. Here's another one of The Undertaker with the World Wrestling Federation Championship. This one looks like it's from 97. He's got that little tear thing on his eye. So like The Undertaker, 1997 photo, cool signature. Here's another one of The Undertaker. This one is PSA certed. You know what that means? It's real. So there's The Undertaker over here giving somebody um, the sign like he's going to destroy them. So another cool photo there of The Undertaker. And there on the back, there's that PSA cert I was talking about. Here's another dual sign photo. We have The Undertaker over here and Paul Bearer over there as manager. So cool dual sign photo. Of Undertaker and Paul Bear. Bear, another one who since he's died, the graph has gone up a ton. I never got his autograph anything, but I did meet like in person. But I, met, I saw him though at the convention I was at in October of 2012. I think he died a few months after that. So at least I got to see him and say hello, but didn't really pay to meet with interact with him that day. So Undertaker and Paul Bear. Here's another one. This is the fake Undertaker, though. This is Brian Lee. So it's signed Undertaker 94. So that's the fake Undertaker, Brian Lee, who played the um, the fake Undertaker match by DiBiase in the summer of 94. You see the signature is a little bit different. Undertaker 94. There he is. Next, we have the U.S. Express. So we have Mike Rotunda over here, Barry Windham over there. They were a great tag team match by Captain Lobano, the United States Express. Uh, Mike Rotunda and Barry Windham. Here's a second one of Mike Rotunda and Barry Windham. Captain Lou Albano in the picture. Signed Mike Rotunda, Barry Windham. So another cool photo there of the U.S. Express. Here we have a graph of the Usos. I heard they go for a lot these days. I have this triple sign by Jimmy and Jay Uso and Tamina Snuka. So you can see all three Usos signed it. Tamina Snuka, Jimmy, and Jay. When I bought it, it was pretty cheap, so I don't know why their graph goes for so much these days. Maybe they don't sign often, but there they are. Jimmy and Jay Uso and Tamina. Next, we have Big Van Vader, and he wrote, it's Vader time, and there he is. So the Big Man Vader is right there, and that wraps up Binder 13. As I said, these ones are small. I'll be back in a few minutes with Binder number 14. We're getting close, folks. Stay tuned. <laughs> 